When I say it is actually unbelievable how beautiful it is, and that's why they built it. Um, every part of the money to build this place was all donated, which I think is absolutely incredible. It was a donation money by the other Moroccan who live in abroad of Morocco. Why? Because we have a hadith, which it said, if you build a mosque or a cathedral or a synagogue where the name of God can be recited, the God or Allah reserved for me a room in the paradise. We're going to Marrakesh! I'm so excited! Good! Yes, of course. Be careful at your... It's hot. This is fucking camel. I'm pretty excited. We're getting ready right now. And then our tour... We booked like a tour so we can skip the line and stuff. And then we're going to go inside the mosque. So I'm looking forward to going to the mosque. Yeah? It'll be my first mosque too. We're doing that first together. Okay, so how was your day, mom, so it's far? It's been fun. Yeah, what are your takeaways? Um, very friendly countries, changed my view on Muslims, absolutely. They have been very friendly, very kind, very peaceful. Everyone we've met has been very gracious. They've helped us, they've given us directions instead of telling us where to go they take us and they bought us drinks and water and They're incredibly kind right incredibly kind and they've welcomed us to their country and and said they prayed that we would have a great time here it's been fantastic that's lovely i'm so glad have you felt weird or unsafe or anything? never felt unsafe So I guess this entire complex was only built in six years. They finished in 1993, but it took 12,800 artisans working around the clock 24 hours for six years. And that still just does not feel like enough time because the amount of detail and work is absolutely insane. So this is the prayer floor for the men and then the women pray up there. And I guess the gates and the windows are to see, not to be seen. This is magnificent. The architecture, everything's beautiful. I've never seen anything like this. So many details. When I say it is actually unbelievable how beautiful it is, like, I don't... Like, the thing I love about places of worship is they're meant to be transcendental spaces. So when you look at cathedrals, you look at arches, you look at any ancient sacred architecture, it's meant to represent a transcendental state. You know, like, whereas Christianity is very representational of showing, what God creates. I love how Islam is showing divine through a transmutation of what God created, like using the brain to create patterns and things to represent a transcendental state. And I find that incredibly compelling. And that's why I make the art that I do. This is the third largest mosque in the world, and in addition to that, it's the only one that's built entirely on the sea, the Atlantic Ocean. I guess there's a verse in the Quran talking about the seat of the throne of God is in the ocean, and that's why they built it. Um, every part of the money to build this place was all donated, which I think is absolutely incredible. It was a donation money by the other Moroccan who live in abroad of Morocco. Why? Because we have a hadith which it said if you build a mosque or a cathedral or a synagogue where the name of god can be recited the god or allah reserved for me a room in the paradise so right now we're at the cathedral the second largest in africa it's a catholic church um, that we saw yesterday actually 
Uh, and I guess you write a wish and you fold it up and you put it in one of the cracks. She put in her wish. Her little wish. Mom, sometimes I think that if I went to confession, like I used to do back when I went to Catholic school now, I would absolutely give the priest a heart attack. Probably. <laughs> got back from the tour and we're pooped oh my so gosh. we ordered food and now we rest because in the morning we're taking a train to Marrakesh and it's her first train <laughs> <laughs> you ready, ready. ready. La -la. we're going to Marrakesh This is awesome. Kansas should have trains. I think all of the U.S. should have trains. It's such easy transportation. You just jump on and sit down and it goes. And so many people at one time. You get to enjoy the view and you don't have to drive and fight the traffic. Because the traffic in Casablanca was crazy. Those people are crazy. But this is just peaceful. The view is quick, but beautiful. Fast, fast. So how are you liking Morocco so far? You've been here for what, three days? Three days? Something like that, I love it. Makes me wanna move here, but I won't leave my kids and grandkids. But it would be nice to come back here again. Yeah, but there's so many other places to see. But this is beautiful, I'm glad I came. Me too, it's been really fun. We've got so much more time left. I know, but it seems like it's going by so quickly. Marrakesh and we are checking into our hotel currently and they brought us tea. It's very lovely. So far mom, what's your opinion on Marrakesh? They're hustlers. <laughs> They're hustlers. <laughs> they drive. We walk away. We're terrible travelers. <laughs> we met we, we missed our free breakfast. Our free breakfast ended at 11 in the morning. We got up at 11.40. It's about one o'clock now, and we're just- To start our day at 1 p.m. Listen, I actually kind of like it because if I was traveling with anyone else, they would be so pissed. But like, my mom's about the only person I know that can sleep like I can. <laughs> Good. Yes, of course. Be careful at your next please. It's hot. This is fucking camel. We're having camel. Hmm. Try it. Is it good? Mm -hmm. So today was our second day in Marrakesh. I don't know if maybe we're just going to the wrong places, but everyone was like, oh, you're gonna like Marrakesh so much better. Like it's so cultural, blah, 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 blah. I just feel like everyone is around here trying to rip me off. I don't really know if I like it, to be honest. Um, I think so far with the experience I had, I think I prefer Casablanca, but I also really haven't gone out or done much here. I've just walked around the market and like, obviously people are gonna try to rip you off in the market kind of their job. But just overall, the people were a lot nicer in Casablanca. It's a lot more chill. Yeah, we just went shopping again today. I got this necklace and this little ring, pure silver. I find it so funny how mom and I are on the exact same wavelength. We got back from hot air balloons and took a little nap. I say little, but a couple hours. And now we're gonna go get lunch and exchange money, and then go for a massage in Hamam, the traditional spa treatment here. Sorry, I'm still 
Sleepy. You know what? It's funny. I don't ever really travel with people that are as sleepy as I am, but my mom fits in that category. <laughs> so we just got done with our first hammam ever and a massage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'll, we'll talk about it in more depth, but. Whew. Definitely, highly recommended. Definitely couldn't video it, but wow. I honestly didn't really know what to expect. I had no idea. I was a little shocked at first. I, I knew it was like they would soap you up. It was kind of like that. I didn't know that it was like they're going to wash your hair for you and like braid it and exfoliate your whole body. And it was in like a sauna. And I also didn't know you were going to be like completely wet i mean of course you're gonna be they're washing off a soap but i just brought like underwear thong i didn't have like a, a bikini i think <laughs> maybe like a bikini bottom like like bring extra underwear yes the massage was good too but the first part the massage wasn't really how we like our massages but we're both kind of um masochist and like to be bruised so yeah well deep tissue we, we like it deep quit <laughs> if you go to marrakesh or casablanca you definitely you have definitely to do have to do hammam. this i think for me yeah and also just the lady who did our hammam was really good uh we went to five elements spa and it was 55 dollars, 55 us for about an hour hammam and an hour massage which is it crazy. was a couple hours worth it was definitely worth it it was very very good I want to go again before we I come home to the States. We need to. We're going to try. Today we are in Chef Shawan, which is the blue city. And there's a lot of cats here, so I'm happy. <laughs> Ooh la la, pretty mama. So I guess the name of the city means uh, look to horns. So I guess you could say Chef Shawan's horny. Monday morning is where when they wash clothes here, like all the ladies in the village. Shosha one's so fucking pretty. Freaking obsessed. Ah! So pretty. God, I love Morocco. This is what they call a taco in Morocco. It's like a grilled wrap, whatever you want in it thing with fries. It's pretty good, actually. Definitely not a taco, but it's pretty good. We're laying on the beach in Casablanca and she's going to put her feet in the ocean. I think that is very cute. Hi! It's four o'clock in the morning. It's mama's yeah. time to leave. Bye! I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you too, but I'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye, mom! Bye! <laughs> so when my mom was here, we met these lovely young boys. They're like 21, 22 who helped us around, um, were very, very sweet, very kind. Um, anyway, one of them told their mom that they met some foreigners, and so they invited me to lunch. So now I'm headed to this lovely family's, kind family's house for a traditional Moroccan meal. I swear, every time I go to another dinner with like an Arab or Muslim Normally, honestly, it's Muslim families. I'm overwhelmed, as you can see. Just like the kindness and the generosity and the warmth. It's genuinely something you, you don't see anywhere else. I'm just like, I'm so touched. I'm like speechless. Um, they just kept giving me gifts and they wouldn't stop. And you like can't say no. And it was just so kind. Anyway, so this uh, scarf is new, <laughs> and this kimono is new, and they were just so happy and excited to share their culture, and it was beautiful, um, and I feel incredibly privileged to be able to experience this kind of side of humanity, because it really does change your perspective on the world, and yeah, I just feel really grateful. <laughs> She 
left, I started couch surfing and I met so many people this way. Thank you. In addition, I started tattooing and painting a mural in a tattoo shop in Marrakesh. The owner, Najet, invited me to her birthday party and needless to say, that was a very interesting experience. That week was spent completing a mural and commuting around the crazy roads of Marrakesh. After this, I returned to Casablanca. In addition to that, they invited me to their house on the coast. And so I spent the last couple days on the coast relaxing with my friend Haitun. Honestly, Morocco is an incredibly magical place and I wouldn't have changed any part of my experience for anything, especially getting to experience so much of it with my mom.